Today, we are very, very lucky to be joined by Rachel Allison, our Head of Protection at Create Finance. She does a fantastic job looking at protection cover for all of our clients. Hello, Rachel. Hi. Thank you for joining us today. It's okay, thanks for having me. We have got a great video coming up today where Rachel's gonna highlight the importance of having protection cover alongside your mortgage. So let's get into the video. So Rachel, for our audience, please tell the audience what you do at Create Finance. A bit about your experience as well, please. Yes, yeah, so I work alongside the mortgage advisors to help their clients to make sure that everybody's got the correct protection in place. That Not that they necessarily should have because some people feel that they should have different things in place, but just to make sure that they're aware of the different options that are available to them, how the protection works and how will that basically future-proof them in regards to going forward with their new mortgage. Um, it's a job that I've been doing for over eight years now. I'm very passionate about protection and making sure that clients are aware of protection and just kind of helping people with their knowledge of it really as well. Fantastic. And would it be fair to say that your mortgage will be possibly the biggest debt that you ever take that every client should have, or every borrower should I say, should have the right advice around protection? Definitely. Even if, you know, you will get people that don't want it, but they still should have advice against protection as to why they should have it, protecting that debt, protecting themselves and their families going forward. Rachel, I know you very well and I know that you're very, very passionate around protection. What makes you so passionate about protection? You know, it's, it's my job, it's something that I love doing. I don't see myself as a salesperson when it comes to protection, I'm an advisor. I'm here to advise people. And I think when you've been in situations where maybe you've had family members or friends that have become unwell or been affected by a serious illness, it's, it kind of hits home more and it makes it more real and it makes you even more passionate about making sure that other people have, have got that in place as well. Mm, understandable, very much so. So, just for the audience, when we're talking protection, what does that actually mean? So, I've talked about some of the policies available for a borrower when they're taking out a mortgage. So, typically, the main policies that we will focus on is life insurance, critical illness cover, and income protection. There are other areas as well, such as business protection, but when it's our clients with a the mortgage, they're the main three that we focus on, really, to begin with. Okay, and would you say that the borrowers should have just life insurance cover? There's no right or wrong. Mm. Um, really, everybody should have a bit of everything in place. If mm. you've got an income and you rely on that income, you should look at protecting it. If you want to make sure, you know, if something happens to you in terms of serious illness, again, you should have that protection in place. So whilst it might not be affordable to everybody to have everything in place, it should be considered. And I suppose your role would be, because of the experience that you have, you'd have that conversation then with the borrower, highlight their needs and maybe their shortfall, and obviously relay the cost and the budget to them. Exactly, yeah. So we would have a conversation, see what they've got in place already, if anything, look at any employer benefits. I can then highlight their shortfalls to them and make a recommendation based on that, again, within a budget that's affordable to them. Rachel, I just want to do a bit of myth busting. Mm -hmm. What would you say to the audience who say that life insurance companies or critical illness or income protection companies don't pay out at all? Yeah, you see a lot of that and all of the providers that we use, their claim stats show that they pay 98 or 99% of their claims. Wow. Those one or 2% claims that aren't paid, it's because something hasn't been disclosed on their application, so maybe they wouldn't have been covered in the first place or the condition's not met. So for example, with a critical illness claim, they might be trying to claim for something that they're not covered for. And 67% of those critical illness claims are for cancer alone. Yeah half of that is for breast cancer. So it shows that, you know, it's something that we hear about every day that people suffer with and they are getting claims paid for. That's some fantastic claim stats there, Rachel. Thank you ever so much. Right, Rachel, I'm just gonna give you a scenario. What would you say to a 23, 24 year old, first time buyer, taking out of uh, the mortgage for the first time, says no to life insurance cover and says, never gonna happen to me. Being young is the perfect time to take protection because of the cost. You know, as you get older, you're more at risk of things happening to you. The cost only gets more expensive. So when you're young, get yourself protected. Typically your premiums are guaranteed, so they'll stay the same for the duration of the policy. 
but also with income protection, for example, the mm. average age of a claim on income protection is 34. Uh -huh. So it's not that old. Yeah, it's young. And the most claimed on thing with income protection is musculoskeletal. So again, mm. it's not a serious illness. Mm. It's, you know, bad backs and, mm. and problems like that, that people are using it for. So, you know, being young isn't a reason not to protect yourself. Yeah, I suppose you can't ever predict when you can have an accident at all. Exactly. Anything can happen to any of us, unfortunately. You know, we're, we're not invincible. We like to think that we are but it can really happen to any of us yeah some great advice there so do i need to have a mortgage in order to have protection cover definitely not um you know if you've got young children and you want to make sure you've got some protection in place there um for example if one of you is a higher earner and you would be struggling without their income Family income benefit is a great policy to have. If you rent or you've got financial credit commitments that you need to pay, again, income protection is a great one to have and you don't need to have a mortgage in place to have any form of protection. Fantastic. Rachel, thank you ever so much for joining us today. You're welcome. A fantastic insight there into protection cover and why it's so important when you're taking out a mortgage. If you have any questions for Rachel, please drop us a comment below and also check out our other videos around getting a mortgage.